Stupid deaths, stupid deaths, they're funny cause they're true! Woo! Stupid deaths, stupid deaths, hope next time it's not you! <laughs> One, two, three, ha! Scissors beats paper, I win! One, two, three, ha! Scissors beats paper, I win! Oh, I'm bored now. Will you just keep doing paper? That's not how you play it. Oh, grow up. Next! And you are... Thomas Curtis of Suffolk. And is your death by any chance arrow-related? Yes, it is. I am a Tudor archer. How did you know that? This is a lucky guess. Come on, then. Let's be hearing you. Well, one fine summer's evening, I was out practising my archery when I spotted a friend in the name of Richard Lyrance. Now, Richard is a fine archer, so I thought it would be quite funny to give him a bit of a challenge, right? Yes. So uh, I yelled out to him, Richard, I bet you can't hit my hat! Turns out I was right. <laughs> Fortunately, he missed your brain. Not sure I get that. Proving my point. You're through to the afterlife. Oh, priceless. Next! Bo, hold the mustard. We got another contender. And you are? Henry Pert of Nottinghamshire. And is your death by any chance arrow-related? Yes, it is. I'm a Tudor archer. How did you know? Just a lucky guess, again. Come on then, let's hear your story. Well, I pulled my bow back to its full extent to loose an arrow straight into the air, only I'd pulled it back so far the arrow got lodged in the bow. So I've leant over to have a look at what's going on there. Yes. Twang. Went in my head. <laughs> the most embarrassing Tudor Archery Death Award goes to Henry the Plonker. <laughs> You're through to the afterlife. Nice one, mate. Oh, I tell you, this job just gets better and better. I get it now, because I haven't got a brain. Out! Well, there are some drawbacks. Stupid deaths, stupid deaths. Hope next time it's not you. <laughs>